first time of the week it's like a shocker because yesterday i slept in mondays i've been sleeping in just because i feel like it's been like a half day for me where i let myself sleep in in the morning and i still like do a full day of work and everything but i just don't go to the gym i either do some light movement like walking or something like that but i've been taking mondays pretty slow and just like easing into the week which has been like super good for me and so waking up early for the first time of the week is always tough but on the weekend it's really nice to like catch up on my sleep and get like 12 hours <laughs> I'm not even kidding. But anyways, it's grind time. You know how the drill goes here. I'm actually feeling super like happy and motivated today though and this weekend and there's just so many exciting things coming and that just always makes it easier to get your butt out of bed in the morning when you have like a good outlook on life. You know what I mean? As you can see, it's getting so bright so early now, which is really nice. I mean, it just like wakes you up. And like hearing the birds chirp, which is so nice. I'm kind of debating getting like patio furniture to put on our little deck so that we can sit out in the morning. Not this early, but like on the weekend mornings and stuff. So in the summer, I feel like we would use that a lot and like drink our coffees out there or something because I feel like getting the sun on your face first thing in the morning is just so nice. That's what I used to do when we went to Europe. I would sit outside every morning with my coffee and just like get the rays. It was so nice but anyways happy tuesday happy beginning kind of beginning to the week i'm going to get myself ready for the gym i curled my hair yesterday but it's already fallen and i don't think it's gonna stay so crossing my fingers <laughs> i never know what to do with my hair when it's like this when i go to the gym because like i want it to stay curled but i hate putting it up because that always ruins it so I don't know. I guess I could just do like a pony and that'll be fine. <gasps> we got a long day ahead of us, so let's go get dressed for the gym. You just forgot about it but it does feel so good especially okay one thing when i wake up early is my eyes they just feel so disgusting they feel like i don't even want to describe it but all i want is like a ice roller on my eyes and they feel so much better the best way to describe it is they just feel heavy and groggy but something cold like i try to splash cold water on them but sometimes that doesn't work this definitely works oh it's so cold i can't even imagine a cold plunge i've never done an actual like real cold plunge before and i am way too scared to try i feel like that's just not for me and i know like cold plunges and stuff can have so many benefits for you and it is supposed to be good but apparently a lot of studies that were done for your health were primarily done on men and not on women so those statistics are kind of skewed in terms of what a woman should be doing for her body because we're so different in terms of our cycle etc and so when i think of things like cold plunging that's like the last thing I want to do and I don't even know if that would be good for my body because I don't know, everybody's so different. But I know Joel, he loves his cold plunges and stuff. But me, I don't know. I don't know, guys. That seems a little bit extreme. I've done like a cold shower before and it feels good afterwards. Like it really does wake you up. But I don't know. I've never actually done a full one before. So a full cold plunge. That would be something I would try just to see. But even just this on my face, I'm like wincing because it's so cold. You guys already know the drill for my outfit. Gymshark, of course, we love Gymshark. Thank you so much to them for sponsoring this video. They have the best stuff ever, so please go check their website out. Love these workout tanks so, so, so much. They're so in right now and so trendy, and they're just the best things ever. So comfortable to work out in. They're just so soft. I love the white because you could wear it with anything mix and match, your underlayer, your leggings, and it'll always go. And then I'm wearing these leggings today. This material, you guys, is my favorite workout gym material ever because it's breathable, it's soft, it's so good to work out in, and I always 
have the best workouts when I'm in these Gymshark leggings. Everything that I'm wearing will be linked down below. And if you guys want to support me and shop them, you can use my code Michaela, which will be down below as well. But there has been this Gymshark, let me find it actually. There's been this Gymshark trending mini bag right now. I wish that I got it with my order, but unfortunately I didn't see it until I just came across it recently on TikTok. But let me show you guys because you need this. It's definitely going to be my next Gymshark order. This bag. Oh my goodness, it is so cute. I will link it down below for you guys as well because it is the cutest thing ever and we all need it. So anyways, let's go to the gym. Cheers. Let's do this. Hey guys, so I just put my hair in these rope curls or not rope curls. You know what I mean because they completely fell after the gym like I took a shower because I had my hair up in a bun because I went in the sauna and I took them out, like took my hair out. Where the, did the curls go? I'm not sure. I don't know why, but my curls have not been staying recently. And usually like whenever I curl my hair, it always stays. But for some reason, I don't know what is with my hair, if the texture is changing or what it is, but my hair hasn't been able to hold a curl in a hot minute. Usually... In the past when i would put my hair up like if i curled it i put it up i could put my hair down no problem and the curl will still be there but recently the curl just vanishes and it just becomes like frizzy and weird i don't even know i have had done keratin treatments in the past because my natural hair is very 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 frizzy and very curly like when i was a kid i used to have like little ringlets and it was so cute but as i got older my hair just got super frizzy and it just doesn't dry nice naturally so i ended up getting a keratin treatment for that and the keratin treatment like freshly done was the best thing in the entire world because i could finally wash my hair and not have to worry about like spending five hours to tame it and then i got a keratin treatment again and i think i got it three times but i haven't gotten one for almost a full year now i think almost a year and maybe that's why because my hair is like growing out weird and like some of it still has a keratin treatment but like my roots are this much grown out so i don't really know maybe it's something to do with that got myself a celsius we don't really have much coffee left or I don't have any espresso pods at all right now. But I am thinking of purchasing the Smig espresso machine because it is on sale right now on Best Buy. I think the original price is like $1,400 or $1,300 or $1,200. One of those three. And it's on sale for $900. So with tax in and everything, it's going to be around $1,000. Which honestly, I think it's like a really good investment because I have been wanting an espresso machine for a long time now. Like a nice real one. And the Smig one is just so nice and it's not like smeg is upcharging so much for like the name smeg you know what i mean i feel like that's pretty average for a good espresso machine i think i might order that today because i don't want it to sell out and also before the sale ends i want to snatch it because i have like a drink every single day whether that's a matcha whether that's coffee hot coffee iced coffee and so i feel like this is going to be a product that i buy that will last me for years to come and i really don't think i'm ever going to get over like the smeg aesthetic because it's just so timeless the only hesitation that i had was like this month is just a very expensive month for us but i hate thinking like that you guys know i hate thinking like that with my mindset and so i just feel like when it's an expensive month i'm just always adding <laughs> <laughs> but it's fine it's fine because we live in an abundant universe and we can attract abundance to us at any time any day and if money is always flowing into us into the girlies it is you just have to have a mindset like that and money will just it'll come to you i also haven't made my homemade milk in like two weeks because i haven't had espresso shots so i haven't been making coffees i should get on that 
Oh my gosh, I actually can't wait for this espresso machine now. Okay, anyways, my order from the Sephora sale came in and I have been waiting all weekend to start filming so I can unbox and try these products out with you guys. Let's open her up. First impressions, we're going to be using these products together. So let's use the Warm Wishes Effortless Bronzing Stick by Rare Beauty in the shade Happy Soul. I've been wanting to try this Rare Beauty bronzer for a while now because everybody raves about her. The packaging is also super cute. But let's try her out. Ooh, this looks like actually a good contour color or bronzing color. Ooh, okay, first impressions. Very, very creamy on the face. Like that just glides right on as she should. I don't know how pigmented it is so i'm just gonna do that the good thing about sephora is like you don't really have to worry when you try a new product because they do return so easily but i did see a tiktok that they actually <laughs> monitor your return so if you return too much they ban you from returning so be careful with that but i feel like i have only returned one product a year maybe so i don't really need to worry about that they do have a good like little return policy okay that's really nice that like just melted into the skin i'm vibing with this Ooh. okay i really like that i've never been like super into makeup because i'm more of like a natural makeup type of girl i never do eyeshadow and i never do foundation i never do fake eyelashes my makeup is always pretty limited every day but that's how i like it and even when i do go out i don't do much makeup at all the one extra step that i'll do is put like my elf halo glow on or something but i really just i vibe with natural makeup i don't know why but whenever i get some new makeup new stuff it always goes right back in the package because i like to admire it the way it is brand new for like a couple weeks and then i'll throw out the package i've never tried a product like a makeup product from tower 28 before actually that's a complete lie i have their lip gloss but face never tried a product this is their beach please luminous tinted balm and it is a blush in the shade dream hour this is so satisfying this color is like a barbie pink i love a good barbie pink shade blush look at that color she's so pretty i love myself a good cream blush just because i like to stick to as many cream products as possible and then just like set my face with the powder where I need to be set just because I really like a dewy natural finish but blush always disappears on me so sometimes I'll have to do like a cream and a powder and then that's what ends up turning out the best but it just really depends like what it looks like on my face that day <laughs> okay that's really really nice I like that and that just melted into my skin okay so now for the last it's funny how these are like all in order but for the last thing i got i got the laura mercier translucent loose setting powder in the ultra blur i've been using the charlotte tilbury setting powder this one for like the longest time now and i saw this tiktok and it actually taught me something because i get so 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 oily like right here like right beside my nose and also on my forehead and on my chin and i always use this charlotte tilbury powder to set it and i'm like why do i get oily so fast like obviously this doesn't have good oil control right and then the tiktok taught me that this is not actually like a setting powder it's called a finishing powder so it has a blurring effect but it doesn't really do much oil control and i'm like oh my gosh that makes so much sense and i've been using this wrong powder for myself the whole time and so apparently this one is a setting powder and it has oil control so if i set the places that get oily they'll actually last and they won't get oily through the day so we're gonna test this out and i also it's so funny because as soon as this one came in the mail i accidentally dropped my charlotte tilbury one as you can see it's like all in particles right now there was barely any left anyways but it's just funny how that happened because i've had this for so long Ooh, this packaging is nice i love the pink the light pink Ooh, she is fresh that's so satisfying. I haven't used a loose powder like this in a long time. My favorite way to set my face is with a little powder puff. I just feel like it does the best job at like blurring things. So, okay. First impressions, good, I guess. But we're really going to have to see how this holds up throughout the day. So I'll keep you guys updated on that. But anyways, those products are slay so far. I feel like I haven't gotten new makeup in so long because I was checking my Sephora account and my last purchase that I ordered was so long ago. And I'm like, damn, okay, I deserve to treat myself then. When I buy something, it lasts me like so long, which is nice. But anyways, I'm going to continue doing my makeup, finishing it off, and then I am editing today. I have to go grocery shopping and then Talia's coming over a bit later to record 
record the podcast so yeah i'm just gonna finish my makeup and then get to editing but i hope you guys are liking the podcast so far i feel like it's just so fun and i have been personally liking doing it so much and it's just been like a passion project it's like our little baby so if you guys don't listen to it go listen everything is linked in the description we'll talk to you guys after i do my makeup sat like my butt my tush hurts because i've been sat editing for actually my back hurts too <laughs> editing for like eight hours maybe even longer i don't even know i've been losing track of time five o'clock talia is coming over because today we're recording our podcast and we're gonna talk all about manifestation on this episode and i'm really 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 excited one of you guys requested this i love when you guys request things because it makes me so happy to actually fulfill and do them and we're really excited to film this episode because we're both super into manifestation and it's something that we want to incorporate and talk a lot about on the podcast so we're doing a whole episode dedicated to it which i'm really excited about but anyways i just put on a really comfy outfit today i'm just wearing this floral tee that i've had on all day and i'm wearing black like um non-cuffed sweats from garage and my t-shirt is from boathouse but look at how good the curls worked i had them in all day they slayed and i did my makeup in the morning because talia was supposed to come and record earlier but she just got delayed because she was doing something so delayed a few hours and i would have done my makeup fresh for this but whatever i think i'm just gonna wear these glasses while i record so that you don't see like my makeup getting all disgusting i hate having makeup on for too long i also didn't even put on setting spray today so maybe that's why but my oil has been holding up well like my oil control after using the powder has been holding up pretty well so i'm happy about that anyways good record and then yeah i just feel super 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 productive because i got a lot done today now i don't need to work on my video tomorrow because i already finished it it's already scheduled for tomorrow i got a bunch of like shorts done because we're trying to post a lot of short form content for the podcast as well to like get it promoted and out there but anyways i will talk to you guys after the recording i think i'm gonna make myself like a sparkling lemon water right now so i can just have it while we're doing it yeah i'm just like really tired today but we got a power through because it's a very, very productive day, which is good. We love that. Sally Peeper? <laughs> what is that? I just made that up. <laughs> it just sounds right. Like, you don't want to be a Sally Peeper. I was like, what is is this something I've never heard of? Sally like when somebody's Peeper. like looking over your shoulder a watching. Sally Peeper. That is so <laughs> funny. Okay, I'm going to use that now. You know like, what it's Don't be a Sally Peeper girl. <laughs> You're being a solid keeper. You know right what? Now. I just made that, that a thing. I know, okay? but that was funny. <laughs> That's why sometimes when things come into our lives, it feels like we didn't manifest them in. But the reason for that is because we're already vibing on that vibration. So it just feels normal. Yeah. You know? Yeah, I know what you mean. It's just so crazy to think that far back. Like, I would be working an eight hour shift as a hostess, but in the back of my head, the whole entire time i was visualizing what i want my dream life to look like i honestly use that as my tactic because i was like okay i gotta turn myself on this vibration so i gotta feel good right and how do i feel good when i'm at work oh i'm gonna visualize my dream life so i feel like that also plays a big part in how why and how it happened pretty quickly is because i was constantly putting myself in that vibration <laughs> so talia just left like 20 minutes ago and i just had a little oops makeshift dinner i was supposed to go grocery shopping today and i just honestly did not do it because i was consumed on my computer all day editing 
and we have like no groceries in the house right now so joel just made ground beef and then i cooked some rice up and i just mixed it in a bowl with mayo and hot sauce and it actually tasted good okay that sounds disgusting but it was all we had so you gotta make do sometimes tomorrow i'm definitely gonna go grocery shopping and i'm just so tired today i was just watching matter pump rolls for 20 minutes while eating my dinner but i think i'm gonna go up now and just get ready for bed because i want to get a good sleep tonight since i really exhausted myself today i've been go 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 since 5 a.m guys and now it's currently it's 8 30 so how many hours is that five that's 15 hours oh my god that's crazy and i barely even took a break today i'm so tired at the end of the podcast episode we were we were recording my words started turning into mush because i was brain dead i'm like oh my gosh i need to go to sleep but the episode was so good this is probably my favorite episode that we filmed it's all about manifestation sorry i didn't get really much vlog footage today very productive day but i am tired so I'm gonna go to bed. I did order the espresso machine that I was talking about earlier, guys, and she is supposed to come tomorrow. There's some sort of express shipping happening, I guess, and I'm so excited. Oh my goodness, if it comes tomorrow, I'm not gonna get my hopes up because you never know what can happen. Sometimes packages say false dates, but I'm gonna get my hopes up a bit over here because we're gonna use it tomorrow. Smeg espresso machine. Queen, I'm gonna be. I'm so sad because today was apparently 23 degrees, but I didn't even know and I spent the whole day inside. I'm so sad I didn't get out on a walk or something. It's been super nice and I didn't even know it was, I knew it was sunny obviously, but I didn't know it was like actually hot. I'm looking at the weather for the rest of the week and it's just rain every single day. So that's great. That's great. I'm really sad now I didn't get to go out in the sun. Oh, anyways, it's fine. The sun will be out. She'll be out soon. She'll be out again. She'll be shining bright. Everything happens for a reason. I'm going to go up to bed now, but I will see you guys tomorrow, bright and early, again, at five. Back on the grind for Wednesday. So, see you guys tomorrow. Good night. Good morning, you guys. This is the gym OOTM outfit of the morning. <laughs> You're done. That was so dumb. Anyways, um, I'm wearing these this Gymshark fit once again because Gymshark slays. So you guys have already seen in my previous video these little biker shorts. These are my favorite because the material, like I said, she is butter soft and they're the perfect shorts to sweat in. And then on the top here, we got a layering moment with their tank top. This one is their black one and this can go with literally any single outfit, which is nice and you can layer it with anything. And then I just got this white sports bra from them, which is so comfy and this material is, I think it is butter because it's that soft and it's so nice and comfortable and it keeps everything supported i love how cute the double strap moment looks so cute and so easy and effortless and we love gymshark so these pieces will be linked down below as well so don't forget to use my code if you guys want to support me but anyways this gym outfit is a sleigh and we're gonna go work out even though i am tired but we're powering through because it is only wednesday guys <laughs> Pick up whatever she want. CC Gucci, he gon' take up whatever she want. She pissed me off, so I just think it whatever she want. Talking about another from the Nella as a home. Hit it in the shop, man, to tell me what she want. Like I'm singing, miss, I made her tell me what she want. <laughs> she on a power trip again. I know power got me buying again. Friends ain't jacking me, you must be lying to your friends. They don't want my visa with the giants up again. <laughs> Ran it up, I told her mama, shot in my DMs. Huh. I'm right back in, uh, huh. Locked in. Shawty got that dress on, so the block is hot again. Think so when I hit it, sound like fuck a head, yeah.
All right, you guys, I just finished up at the gym, got my smoothie, just made it. It's actually really good. I did the salted caramel one today. So I'm just gonna go shower now. I sweat so much in the sauna and I am so disgustingly smelly. So we're gonna go shower this off and then I'm gonna kinda just get ready for the day and do some emails and go grocery shopping. Cheers to staying disciplined and working out. Hey guys, so I just got to the grocery store. It is unfortunately like the forecast called for. <laughs> Raining. The sun was so nice. We got spoiled with the sun for the past, I wanna say like maybe two weeks and that is a spoiled behavior for Vancouver because it's constantly raining here. If you guys don't know that about Vancouver, they actually call it Raincouver because of how much it rains here. Rain is just our normal everyday life. It's not something that happens and everybody's like, oh my God, it's raining. No, it's just a part of our everyday life here. But the sun makes things just so much brighter. Even in the morning, I noticed it wasn't as bright as it usually would be with the sun. So it's just crazy how much it could just like change the whole environment when it's nice weather. You know, when a season gets to the tail end and you just get bored, not bored, well kind of yeah bored of the season right now we're at the tail end of winter and when you're at the tail end of winter you're just itching to get to summer and then when you're at like the tail end of the next season you want a new season you know i just feel that way right now i guess it's technically spring so things have been better like with the sun but i just like want the warm nice weather every day now don't get me wrong i do like a cozy day once in a while but ugh, looking at the weather for the whole next two weeks is gonna be raining and that sucks the girlies like the sun because we're supposed to be defrosting right now I don't know how much defrosting I can do in this rain I'm not going to you know yap my mouth and complain because I like to have a positive outlook on things and it's all about your mindset so you know what slay rain keep raining down but it's okay to just complain once in a while you know you, it just needs to be done that's what I was going to do before I left the house I was going to write my grocery list because I have no idea what I need to get today honestly I just need to get everything and this week we're feeling a little extra dry with no food I'm thinking potentially making chipotle bowls oh my goodness the last time i made a chipotle bowl guys it was like better than chipotle i was like holy crap like this needs to be done again so i think i'm gonna buy stuff to make that chipotle bowl and we can make them together tonight i don't know i kind of slay with like the bowls especially for spring i feel like bowls are just so fresh and nice to eat one bowl dinner i love that so maybe we'll make taco bowls the next day i'll get a couple salad kits and we'll see but anyways i'm gonna write out a grocery list and then let's get grocery shopping i want to be in and out there because i do have a lot of editing to do today so i need to go home and do work and i also want to clean up the house today too that's the plan for today let's go get some groceries i know a lot of you guys love playing grocery hauls let me know if you're getting bored of them because i feel like i do grocery hauls like almost every video but me personally when i watch youtubers i love when they do grocery hauls because living alone i love seeing what other people get and it just helps me plan dinners and meals you know like to get inspiration from also today's outfit of the day i got my red sweats on from brandy i love these so much and then i'm just wearing my adidas with this crew neck from aritzia i also have a long sleeve underneath just a rainy cozy outfit I just finished grocery shopping. I got this harmless coconut water. This is like borderline $10 for this little tiny thing. But I've always wanted to have my own because I've tried these before and they're so good. It's just pure organic coconut water. And apparently this is like the best of the best quality coconut water you can get. And since I've been doing like the sauna a lot recently and like sweating a lot, <laughs> that really is dehydrating. So you have to make sure that you're keeping your body hydrated. So I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna treat myself today and get a harmless harvest coconut water. This has like a bunch of good electrolytes and stuff so if you guys are ever feeling dehydrated go get yourself a co coconut water and i know a lot of people don't like the taste of it but you can always like mix it in something like a smoothie and that uh, you'll still get like the benefits okay let's do a little taste test because apparently each one of these colors are different because it's so pure let's give her a swig also if you guys ever drink even if you have like a couple drinks you know how you could get like super dehydrated and feel hungover the next day if you have coconut water before you go to bed trust me it does wonders like it does wonders i don't drink much like if i go out i'll have like two to three drinks is my absolute max because i'm somebody that if i have like over that amount i am sick the next day and i don't even get like that drunk 
I don't I've never gotten like blackout super drunk before in my whole entire life I have always just gotten tipsy and if I go over the amount of like three drinks I will get hung over no matter what I do like my body is borderline allergic to alcohol I really don't drink I drink maybe once every I'm gonna say five months it's that non-frequent if I do drink to have a little bit of fun you can have fun without drinking but if I do drink to have a little fun I'll have like two drinks I'll chuck coconut water and I'll feel fine but I can never go over that certain boundary or else I will feel so sick but whenever I drink coconut water it definitely does make me feel a lot better so that's a hack that is so good it tastes like it has added sugar in here but it doesn't I don't like a lot of coconut flavored things but I like coconut water and I like coconut like I like the actual coconut you know what I mean I'm just I'm reading meats right now so I'm gonna go in quickly and get our meats and then I'm gonna head home but I just hate having to go pee when I'm out of the house so I always try to like limit my water intake when I'm in the car slay and it's so much healthier than getting something like a vitamin water even though it's double the price it's worth it you know also i'm actually cackling because youtube shorts you guys is a different beast when it comes to hate comments i don't know what the demographic is but i swear i get the weird i get the weirdest comments on my youtube shorts and i'm like what are these trolls like what is happening and it's just it's entertaining to me never have taken a hate comment seriously in my life because i'm just like they have nothing better to do with their life so slay like keep my engagement up queen keep it boosting on our podcast account i'm starting to post shorts for us and we got our first hate comment baby and it was something like oh this podcast makes my brain rot or something like that and it was it's actually funny so keep the haters coming we love you tiktok i feel like is a lot more prone to getting hate than something like youtube or or like YouTube videos on YouTube shorts because YouTube videos and YouTube shorts I don't even I don't know what kind of crack YouTube shorts are on but TikTok I feel like is so prone to getting hate and people don't give a shit what they say on there I feel like YouTube is a very very safe platform and it always has been like that especially just like on videos okay anyways I'm gonna stop rambling and we're gonna go in get the meat for the week my groceries today is probably gonna add up to about two hundred dollars because it's just i just spent 150 at the grocery store and i'm probably gonna spend around 50 dollars here so 200 dollars per week let me know down below in the comments if that's a lot of money because i posted a tiktok of like grocery shop with me and showing the prices and everybody was like oh my gosh that is so expensive i think it's just because in canada where we live in vancouver it the like everything here actually is so expensive and so when other people see that they're shocked so like we spent about a thousand dollars on groceries per month but we do buy mostly organic which is probably part of it but yeah prices here are crazy but we can't be focusing on that shit we have to be focusing on we manifest everything we want and money's flowing it's just funny because people were commenting that they can feed seven people with the amount of money i spend on groceries but I'm like, mm, not if you lived here. I feel like everywhere the grocery prices are a bit different, especially in comparison to the States. Oh my gosh, like whenever we go there, everything is so much cheaper. And yeah, it's just expensive to live in Canada. It really is. You could control what you can, but the things that are out of your control, you just have to work with, you know? I see groceries as more of like an investment in our health rather than like putting money down the drain, like eating the food. Just because you have to treat your body like a literal temple and like a lamborghini what kind of gas what kind of oil are you putting in a lamborghini you're not gonna be putting the cheapest oil in your lamborghini right so that's how i think of my body like i'm a lamborghini okay i'm a, I'm a high-end sports car and we need to feed her good things most of the time so that's why i really try to prioritize buying like the best foods and the best quality foods you get what you pay for like you really do in life <laughs> so anyways okay i'm gonna shut up now because i keep rambling let's go in here is the little grocery haul. So I just got my Amy's burritos. You guys know we like stocking up for a lazy dinner on these in the freezer. Two Caesar salad kits, some sparkling water, some creamer, some kombucha, salsa, bone broth, corn for the chipotle bowl, strawberries, mangoes. These are the best mangoes, avocados, some sweet potato slash yams, black beans for the chipotle bowl, some cheddar cheese, some iceberg lettuce for the taco bowls. And then I just got some chicken thighs, ground beef, and then chicken wings as well. Chips for the taco bowl, some Dorito dupes. You guys know I love these, some stevias. And then I got these peanut butter gluten free chocolate cereal just for dessert because i love my dessert so that is a little haul i'm gonna put this all away while i was at the grocery store actually right on my way back this got delivered it's not in blue this is just the box but i am so 
excited, you guys. She is beautiful, and I can't wait to use it. Here's the coffee setup right now. We already have the Smeg drip coffee machine, and then we have an espresso maker for our like espresso shots and stuff. So the Smeg is going to replace our Nespresso and go right here. This is probably probably gonna have to move over a bit. We might even have to get rid of this mug tree if there's maybe not enough space with the drying rack here. So we'll see. I'm gonna maneuver it and find a good spot for it, but that's where it's gonna go, and I'm so excited. I'm gonna unbox it right now. I am actually obsessed. I'm gonna like read the manual right now and you know figure out how to use it because I don't know how to set it up and everything. So hopefully it's not like too hard of a process, but I am so excited. She is beautiful. It's gonna look so good there. So grateful. I feel like I manifested this because I have been wanting this for a while now thinking about it. Came back in stock and it was on sale, so I couldn't help myself. And she is gorgeous. She is so Gorgeous. I was debating getting the blue color because the blue color is I think is so cute But I feel like this is just more timeless and it matches my kitchen better with all my other smeg stuff So maybe in the future if I want a blue one I can swap it out But I feel like this is just a timeless, you know, I will never regret getting this color. So slay. I cannot wait Look at how pretty she is. I haven't made a shot yet because it's 2 30 and I don't really want caffeine right now but are you kidding me? The shots of me in the morning with this thing are gonna be elite and you guys are gonna be seeing this in the vlogs 24 seven. So don't get sick of it. She's staying. This corner just looks so much better now and so cute and I'm obsessed. I have a little mini cafe now. So if anyone wants to come over, you know, I'll make you a little latte. How adorable. I'm actually obsessed and I'm so happy that I got it. Gonna be whipping up the drinks now. Hey guys, so I'm gonna hear So this is how I make the chipotle bowls. I just cooked up some chicken thighs in the oven and seasoned them so you can do whatever when it comes to that. But put some chicken thighs in the oven and I just cut them up so this is each a chicken thigh. And then I have my can of corn, my black beans, and then I just mushed an avocado to make it more of like a guac. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a bowl. I'm gonna put the rice in that I just cooked, then put the chicken, guac, beans, and corn. And then I do actually have shredded lettuce. Joel, do you want shredded lettuce in it? We I could cut some up quickly. It doesn't make any more dishes yet. Okay, so yeah, I'm gonna cut up some shredded lettuce and then put the bowl together with this is controversial But I like putting mayo and salsa. It's so amazing you guys I'll show you the bowl once it's all put together. I just put a rice now. I'm gonna slap the chicken on I'm just gonna put one Joel can you give me the mayo too? I'm just gonna put one chicken thigh. I like the chicken thighs with the skin on so that it makes it you can make it super crispy. If I remember, I will link the TikTok of the chicken thigh recipe because it's super easy. So if I forget, just give me a little comment if you want it. Just put the chicken on the rice. Now I'm going to add my avocado. This is literally like so good. I honestly would rate this bowl like better than fully. Really? Yeah, it's so good. I just wouldn't normally get chicken if I went to Chipotle, so it's just like, it you know, chicken. this chicken is fire though, I will say. Also it's beans, good. they have good protein. Like at an amount of beans that you would eat that would actually deliver you a sufficient amount of protein. Mm. You know, like they might have good protein for beans. I don't know. But like compared to like, you know, a piece of chicken. I don't know. I don't think it's even close. There's no way. Okay, got the salsa. Maybe the calorie wise. Running low on mayo, but I have like 10 extra in the cupboard. Mm -hmm. I put mayo, guys, on everything. It just, it goes with everything. And it's so good. I'm a mayo stan. We are mayo oh. stands around here. Greek yogurt? Why do you choose the Greek yogurt over sour cream? Mm, probably because it has one tenth the calories and ten times the protein. Not this, not this again on camera. Oh, you guys gave me tips on how to open a jar. Wait, 
You said something about banging something on something? Hold on, there's tips. 15 people that commented and helped us out here. Look, if you tap hard at the bottom of the jar a few times and once at the top, it will open easily. Give us a try. That's crazy. We gotta tell my mom that. She has like special tools for that. Yeah, thank you guys so much, by the way, for helping us out in like that, I think it was called the health vlog. So many of you guys commented on tips to open a jar because at the beginning of the vlog, we were both struggling. But damn. Thanks, guys. I think I put way too much mayo in here, but hey. Okay, guys, I assembled my bowl so everything is in here. Now I'm just gonna mix it. I don't think it's gonna look as good once it's mixed. Oh, it looks good. It looks good. This looks so good. Holy crap. What? What's good? Mm, mm, it's a mm, rainbow. Mm. Alright guys, taste test. I literally don't want you guys talking to me until you try this. Oh my god. Like 20 out of 10. I'm not even kidding you. We're gonna go eat and watch our... Show we're watching Unlocked right now on Netflix. Would recommend, it's like a jail documentary.